Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today's episode is a solo hot tent. I say solo, but of course Boomer's with me. Uh, we're doing a hot tent adventure right here in a very interesting location. We're on a sandbar and we're separated by lake behind me, which is fresh water, semi-frozen. I'm not too sure how thick the ice is yet. I haven't tested it myself, but Boomer has been playing out on it. And on the other side behind the camera, we have the ocean. So. This is a pretty interesting atmosphere. It's moody, it's cloudy, it's quite cold, but the wind is holding off for now. So I do have the tent staked into frozen ground, so it did take a little bit to get those pegs down in the ground, but they're in there solid, and hopefully there's no wind later this evening. But in, just in case there is, all the pegs are in there hard and deep, so they should hold the tent down, fingers crossed. The tide in the background will not come up over and slosh the tent away. That is another important thing that I made sure of. But this area is very, very beautiful. We're surrounded by pine forest. We're out here on the beach. We've got frozen water and then ocean water in front of us. So we're gonna be touring around this area, just enjoying it for the day and for the evening. But first off is a hot coffee. I did bring the alcohol stove with me just in case I wanted a hot drink before collecting firewood, which I always do. This way I don't have to worry about lighting the wood stove and collecting wood. I can just get the alcohol stove out, put it on top or out here in the sand, fire it up, make up a hot drink, relax, and then go and collect firewood. So let's get started on that hot drink.
All right, guys, with coffee time finished up, it is now time to go and collect some firewood for the wood stove. It is getting quite a bit later in the day and darkness is approaching quickly. I still need to cook supper and I'm gonna be doing it on the wood stove, probably inside of the tent. Now the bonus with this tent is it does have two doors on either side. So if the wind does kick up off the ocean coming into this side, I can open up the other door and enjoy a lakefront view without having wind blow inside of the tent. So I'm not terribly worried about that, but ultimately I am gonna be cooking inside of the tent. I did think about doing a fire outside, but there's just too much going on right now. And I brought the wood stove, so it just seems logical to use the wood stove. So I do have to collect the firewood. I'm gonna grab the ax or the saw, one or the other, head into the woodland just behind the tent here, gather up some wood, bring it back out here, process it, and hopefully get that wood stove burning soon.
All right, guys, jumping inside of the tent right now to cook up some supper. It's basically already ready to eat. So what I've got going on here to bring you guys up to speed is I cooked some turkey breast, ground turkey breast at home, pre-seasoned it, did it all up at home in the frying pan, brought it out here because it was leftovers. So what I did is I added that to two packs of rice. I also have two packs of miso soup in there for flavor. I have half a white onion and probably half a cup of green spinach. So basically a big rice dish. Now Boomer can't have any of this because there's a lot of onion in it. So he's already had some food off camera and his dog food and water outside of the tent. And he is inside snuggled up on the sleeping bag, which regular viewers, I'm sure you've already guessed that, either right next to the stove or on top of the sleeping bag. So this is just about ready to go. I'm just gonna leave the lid off to burn off a little bit of steam. What I brought with me is some Indian kind of mixture. This is great with rice. I've been doing this a lot, just sprinkling this in with rice. It's a whole bunch of stuff in here. This one is South Mixture is what they're calling it. Um, looks really good. So I'm basically just gonna add this on top for some extra seasoning and a little bit of texture crunch. I love doing this. Go to your local store, grab some of these Indian style snacks. They're awesome with rice. So get this on here. Mix it up, let it sit for a couple minutes, and it's gonna be time to eat. So what I think I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna go out on the edge of the lake water and relax there, eat my dinner, and come back in and relax for the evening a little later on and see where the night takes us. But right now, that lake is looking pretty moody out there. The ice and the snow and the sound of the ocean waves in the background, just awesome. So. I'm gonna let this simmer for another minute and then basically head outside and enjoy some supper before dark. All right guys, coming inside of the tent to finish up dinner. There is a little bit of a damp, cool breeze coming off that ocean, which is hitting into my backside. And although it's not terribly cold out right now, I wanna say it's maybe negative one or zero degrees Celsius. It's actually quite warm. And noticeably that the ice on the lake is actually starting to melt. So it is supposed to warm up overnight into tomorrow. We might not have ice on the lake tomorrow morning. Who knows, we'll have to see what happens, but it's definitely not thick enough to walk out very far on. 
So that's kind of a bummer. I'm about to wait till a little later on in the season to get out on the ice and do some ice camping. But for now, I'm gonna finish up my dinner. Um, this is rocking out a ton of heat. I've got the front door wide open to the ocean so that breeze is coming in. I probably could take off my wool sweater right now and sit right here with the door open comfortably and not be bothered, but I'm gonna be in and out a little later on. So I'm actually gonna damp the stove down, leave the door wide open and just relax in here. Finish up my supper and I'll catch up with you guys as soon as I'm done. All right guys, supper is all finished up with and it is definitely, definitely hot inside of this hot tent. The ground is starting to dry all the way up to the door, the vestibule area, right where the inner tent meets. It is definitely getting warm here. So I'm out of my wool layer. I'm actually gonna unzip this too. It, uh, it's gonna be a warm one tonight. So Boomer is excited to get out of his jacket and start lounging. I know he's just itching to get next to that wood stove. Even though it is hot, he still goes right for it and just lays down and does his thing. But uh, for now, I think what I'm gonna do is zip that door shut, uh, damp the stove down definitely, and I'm not gonna collect any more firewood. I was gonna go out and collect a little bit more extra to burn it throughout the night, a little later on in the night. Uh, I'm not gonna sleep now. I'm gonna be up watching a movie that I have saved onto my phone. And basically all I need is the stove for in the morning time, really, to, to kind of warm up the tent, make some breakfast, some coffee, and uh, just kind of lounge around. I do have the alcohol stove with me as well, so that's the main reason why I didn't bother cutting any more wood. I think this is definitely gonna be enough for tonight's purpose and tomorrow. Whether I burn all this tonight or I save some for tomorrow, we'll see what happens, but it is now lounge time. So, like I said, I'm gonna zip that door shut, get Boomer out of his jacket, and uh, we're gonna start relaxing. So, I'll catch up with you guys first thing in the morning. Peace out, guys.
Good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful, warm morning out here today at the ocean on this what used to be frozen lake. So last night, the temperatures came up. It is now plus five degrees Celsius. Very, very warm out here. The ice is melting out on the lake. We got a nice warm breeze rolling through. So the hot tent is not needed for today, but it is definitely a luxury to have both doors wide open and have that breeze kind of kick through, enjoying a hot cup of coffee. So Boomer's enjoying running around, splashing in the water a little bit, keeping a very close eye on him because the ice is thick enough for him, but there are holes starting to form. So I'm gonna keep a close eye on him to see where he's at, what he's doing. But last night the breeze picked up a little bit, which wasn't a problem, but where the temperatures came up in, in about plus five, so it was about zero degrees plus one, then it went up to plus five, plus six, uh, the tent pegs basically started sagging because the ground was thawing out. So I had to get out, retention those at some point. And everything's looking at the tent right now. Everything's nice and tight all over again. So no worries there. But I got to say, having this atmosphere of the lake right here and the ocean on the other side, all I could hear all night last night was crashing waves. And I'm just over the little bit of a hump of a hill where I'm not being blasted by the wind. Like I said, it was just a little bit of a breeze. So. Beautiful morning out here. The sunrise was epic. <laughs> Boomer scratching in at the ice trying to get the rocks underneath. He doesn't know what's going on yet. Uh, he is a year old in I think about a week or so. Boomer, come. Come here. So he is about almost a year old and we're going to be doing a birthday thing for him at some point. So up. So just in case you guys are all wondering and all the comments and questions he is a chihuahua mixed with a wire-haired jack russell terrier been getting asked that a lot we found him in a, in a not so friendly home in the city and decided to bring him home here <laughs> and he loves it he spends more time outdoors camping and exploring than any of my friends that i know so he's definitely having a good life now but uh, we are going to enjoy our morning coffee right now, morning routine, and we're going to play around here on the ice, what's left of the ice I should say, and then we're going to let the stove burn out and start packing up. So cheers everybody, good morning, and we'll catch up with you in just a moment.
All right, guys, we've got everything totally packed up. And as you guys can see, wool sweater off. It is rather warm out today. I want to say it feels about like 8 to 10 degrees Celsius, which is absolutely insane considering yesterday was cold. The day before was like negative 8. So we got a warm front coming through for sure. Wool sweater off. Going to strap that on the outside of the pack and hike out with just a hoodie on. The sun is still coming up, so it's blaring right in my face. It is going to be a warm day, which is going to make for a warm hike. Boomer's jacket's going to come off too because he doesn't need that on right now. But we do want to say thank you very much for joining us on this adventure. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below and we'll do our best to answer them. Until next time, peace out guys. We'll see you in the next adventure.